What's up guys? It's time to talk about some Mass Effect Andromeda because I wasn't talking about it very much because there was no news. So if you haven't seen my previous Mass Effect Andromeda videos, you will see them up in the little eye over there. I've pretty much tried to cover the trailers, uh, the teasers, and any information that Bioware has announced. Now I know before I say anything because people always, they always come to me and they're like, oh my god, MD, did you see the leak? For those of you that have followed me for a while, you know that I hate leaks. They're just, there's so much subject to change. And then we've already known that, and I think Bioware did this. Was it Bioware? I think it was Bioware. They changed what they had been doing because it had all been leaked. I know that some leaks are planned um, by the developer, which I don't agree with even then because I'm like, why? Like if you want information out there for the people, um, you know, why don't you just go to someone or go to a media source and give it as an exclusive, put an embargo, and when the embargo hits, boom, you know, that's that's usually the typical thing. Why does it have to be labeled a leak? You know what? I'm not even going to make this a rant. <laughs> I'm like already turning this into a rant and I refuse to do this. It's so hot in here. Oh my God. <laughs> Did I see the leaks? I saw bits and pieces of it because it was pretty much thrown into my face. Um, so I saw a little bit of it. Um, and I know that this is older footage. So why even talk about it? Because it's older footage. It's very subject to change and it, it's not official. So when people treat leaks as official or they're like, oh, this is what's going on with Mass Effect Andromeda. When Bioware finally reveals something, people start to say, oh, you, what, you guys showed this earlier. Like, why did you guys change it? That happened with Dragon Age Inquisition. I said I wasn't going to rant. So what I'm going to talk about in this video is the stuff that we know for show. The first thing I want to talk about is the delay. The very first actual trailer for Mass Effect Andromeda, which was the E3 trailer of last year. It said uh, holiday 2016. But the more we started to see for Mass Effect Andromeda, or more like we haven't seen that much about it, I was like, there's no way this is coming out in 2016. Like, there's just no way. So it being pushed to 2017, I think is the best move. Um, it shows that the developer really wants to get it done According to EA CFO, Blake Jorgensen, he said Mass Effect would be coming in EA's fourth quarter. EA's fiscal year ends March 31st, so the game could launch sometime between January and March 2017. So the next thing I want to talk about are the people that have left the Mass Effect team. A lot of people have been thinking that, that it's all related, um, that it's all bad, uh, bad news, that it's all something is going on with mass effect that it's a reason to worry now i don't know why these people left i don't know what the case is but i do know that we shouldn't tie these things together mass effect andromeda being pushed to 2017 was something that we should have expected it happened with dragon age inquisition so it, it i just i was like it's gonna happen and then the people working on it like Seriously, these are people, they're not robots, you know? You can't just program them to work like factories 24 seven, you know, for them to, to reach the 2016 uh, release date that, has been, that had been um, previously announced. You know, if they need more time, then whatever, you know? Uh, but the people that have left, Cameron Harris, which is a senior editor on Mass Effect, And Chris Wynn, who was a development, uh, development director. People leave game development all the time. They find new options. They can't continue their family issues, anything. They leave for different reasons. It's not just because, oh my God, let's run, like, run away. Whatever made these people leave. Bioware is constantly getting people coming in. The other day I saw a tweet, um, I'll, I'll try to find it and put it on here, but someone tweeted saying, I've joined the Bioware team. People are leaving, but people are also joining. So it's not like 
Bioware is just becoming this like, you know, this empty place where there's nobody to work on games, you know, they're, they're being replaced. So this is another person that joined Bioware um, and they, they worked uh, in Naughty Dog previously. They worked on Last of Us and on Uncharted 4 and they left Naughty Dog to join Bioware Austin and they tweeted, this is Tal Peleg, he says animating a romance culmination on Andromeda isn't as easy as I'd imagine and he puts a gif of Char Charlie Sheen pulling at his neck collar and there's like steam coming out and I was like <laughs> like what like what does this mean like there's some hot and steamy scenes in in mass effect that andromeda <laughs> yay <laughs> so there's another example of somebody that is um skilled in what they do uh and they're joining bioware so that's that's a great thing you know why just focus on the people that are leaving why not also focus on the people that are coming in because some of these people have worked on some great games so the armor the pretty full armor that was found just there <laughs> from like who knows when from the zebra sh summit which was i don't even remember i think like a year ago or something like that and this is uh, by the bioware artist furio tedeshi it's pretty much the same armor that we saw from the trailer now one thing that kind of confuses me is that everywhere i read about this armor it says that it's the protagonist armor that this is the protagonist. I thought this was the guy from the trailer. Bioware already said that the, the, the dude from the trailer isn't the, the, the protagonist. So I'm really confused because usually the protagonist will have a different armor from the, the other characters. Even though Caden had a similar armor, it was different. There aren't two characters that look the same. Either media people have this wrong and this isn't the protagonist, or what? If this is that dude's armor, then what is your armor going to look like? I've speculated about this in the past, that maybe you take over this guy, like this guy that is in the trailer. He either dies or he gets captured or something. You either have to go save him or you take his place. Maybe that's why they have the same armor. Like you take his place and <laughs> you take his, his armor too. Or this is like rank. A rank specific armor where if you take his place you're gonna have pretty much the same armor maybe the armors haven't even been distinguished yet like maybe it hasn't been like this is just the armor we have right now this is the one that we designed just put it on this dude and it's probably gonna be your armor I love the way this armor looks because it looks practical it looks practical and it looks believable if I love the way that it looks like it's um, it's got insulation um, because you don't know where where the hell you're going. You're going to these planets. We've seen planets that are like snowy and cold. So this looks like a type of armor that would keep you warm. Um, the helmet also looks like it protects you like from the sun and stuff like that. I hate when armors or helmets look very futuristic and very sci-fi-ish just for the sake of looking cool. And you're just like... Nobody would wear that in, in, you know, in space, nobody would wear that. <laughs> and then the whole thing, who is writer? Is this writer? Is the dude from the, the trailer writer or are you writer? I'm, I'm, I, I was citing more that you're writer, but it, there is a possibility that the guy that he, this, this guy from the trailer is writer. Um, and you probably have to go look for him or you replaced him or something. Maybe he's a family member. Maybe he's. I don't know, maybe he's a friend. Another thing that was interesting that I, that I saw, I think it was on Twitter, was that Bioware's Yannick Roy said that the teams want to take space as a thing and turn it into a place. So we're obviously going to a new galaxy. Judging from Dragon Age Inquisition, the way that you had Skyhold and the way that you could set up camps, that's gonna be a big part of the game, I think, and Andromeda, because this is the first time you're coming into a new galaxy, so you're obviously going to be setting up bases of where to stay, because you have nowhere to stay. You have no home world here. Everything is completely foreign. So uh, you have to establish n new locations. And this whole idea of colonizing it's usually seen as pretty hostile by the inhabitants of of these planets i've said this before but the song ghost rider ghost riders in the sky it's not portraying 
someone or something in a very positive way. It's kind of, it's kind of negative. And I've, I've, I said this in my trailer analysis where I was like, what if you're the one that is stepping into their territory and now you're almost like the enemy. Bioware does so well with this all the time with like Templars and, and um, mages or, you know, the Geth and the Corian. It's these morality questions that make you think where you're just like, you know, I could see the good side about with this, but I could also see the bad side. Also, Ian Fraser, a lead designer on Mass Effect Andromeda, he says this week was very hard, but it ended well with sweet new character progression to see and very, very large new foe to fight. Highlight of my week was seeing a gameplay designer murdered by his own creation shortly after he gave me crap for dying to it. So I'm imagining something like a Thresher Maw, like a creature on some planet that just comes out and you're like, ah. Oh so that sounds really cool that we're going to get those epic, huge uh, boss type fights. I'm hoping, I hope they're like boss battles. Mass Effect 1, there was more exploration there. There was more customization. Um, there was more of just free roaming planets that were just where you're like, whoa. But the thing that was missing was why? So now it, there's a reason, you know, there's, you're actually going into planets that you've never, you don't, you have no idea what is even there. So you're probably going to be surveying them. You're going to be, you're going there to see what is going on there to establish camps and all that stuff. So that is so exciting. Like that was one thing that I loved about Mass Effect 1. So having it incorporated into Mass Effect Andromeda on this scale is just so exciting for me because that is more than just mystery like this that's just the unknown so that's pretty much it when it comes to like actual news or just tweets or you know and, and my interpretations of it and my ideas and all that i'm gonna be doing more of these videos uh because i have a, a bunch of ideas already uh written down so i'm probably gonna make those mass effect talks because we're coming closer to e3 and i'm sure some things are going to be announced either in ea play but what i don't know is if there's going to be stuff in e3 as well but if you want to know more about um like my previous Mass Effect talks, that was all. I talked about the races, I talked about a lot of the characters, I talked a lot about the, the science behind it and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the armor. Who do you think that is? Do you think that's our gonna be our protagonist armor? Do you think the protagonist armor is still secret? Do you think we haven't even seen it? Like maybe they're just trying to make us think that this is it, but it's like, no, it's not it. This is the dude, that one dude's armor. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I should go.